Hello, hello, welcome. I'm Laia. Today's practice is designed to help you be intentionally present. Coming to your mat regularly is a very great tool to help you tap into how you feel. You can learn how to be kinder to yourself, when to pause, when to actually push yourself. In yogic philosophy, we believe that when we take care of ourselves and we start to know ourselves, that also should reflect and ripple out and how you communicate with others, how you evolve and how you grow in the world. Today's practice will help you find that presence, find a moment for yourself to check in so that when you go out into the world, you find yourself being not only kinder to others, but also more present and able to be in the moment. Let's get started. Find a comfortable seated position. You could sit on your mat. Maybe you elevate your sitting bones with a block or a blanket. And take a moment to make yourself comfortable. Maybe you roll your shoulders, move your neck. Just give yourself a moment to arrive into the practice, no matter what time of day it is for you. And eventually allowing your gaze to soften down toward the ground. Or if you prefer, you can always close your eyes. Becoming aware of your surroundings. The sounds of people, of nature, of life. Noticing the temperature of the space that you're in. And gently starting to draw your attention closer and closer toward yourself. Starting to become aware of the edges of your body. Where you begin. Becoming aware of the support beneath you. the way in which you're seated or lying down. And starting to observe the physical sensations. Yes, perhaps you become aware of tension or discomfort or pain. But is there also space for you to become aware of the things that feel relaxed, parts of your body that perhaps feel good. And I invite you to perhaps pinpoint a specific part of your physical body that feels particularly relaxed or open or good. And start to see if you can invite your breath into that space. By noticing the air coming in through your nostrils and expanding into the body. And on your exhalation, notice the breath leaving the body, softening you a little bit more toward the earth and into the present moment. So I invite you now to start to follow your breath in and out. Maybe at its natural cadence. Maybe you start to let your inhale expand a little. And your exhale soften you more and more and more. And as you observe your mind, perhaps wander and return, go into one subject and then return. 
So if you can let go of the concerns and regrets of the past, just for now. So if you can let go of the concerns about the future, just for now. Nudge yourself right in between where life is truly happening right here, right now. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Let it expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Perhaps hold at the top, inviting plenitude and abundance. And side out, maybe making sound. <sighs> Bring your palms perhaps together in front of your heart, or maybe one hand to your abdomen and one hand to your heart. And as we begin the movement today, take this moment to set an intention. And this intention can expand only into the next breath or into the next few minutes or into the practice or the day or the week or beyond. And start to consider what is one thing I can put down just for this small amount of time so that I can make space for new things. What can I put down right now, just for now, to make space for new things? Take a deep inhalation. Side out. Release your arms. Relax your shoulders, lengthen your neck. Find a comfortable seat if you were perhaps lying down. And on your inhalation, start to lift your arms out and up, feeling the stretch from the hips through the side body all the way to the fingertips. Extend your fingertips, face your palms forward. And on your exhalation, bend your elbows to shoulders level, coming into cactus arms here. Spread your fingers wide, draw your elbows back. Inhale, lift your chin. Exhale, draw your elbows and your hands toward one another. They don't need to touch. And round your back just a bit. Inhale again, lift your elbows, lift your chest, open up. Exhale, hands and elbows toward one another as you round a bit. One more, inhale to open up. And exhale to unite the hands and the elbows and round. Keep your palms together, lift your chest, draw your hands in front of your heart, relax your shoulders. Take a moment here to notice how you're seated, to notice the length of your spine, to find space to be present once again. Inhale. Exhale. Open your arms out to the sides, lift your chest, deep breath in. Exhale, lower your left hand down to your block or maybe the floor and reach your right arm over to the side, stretch out. Inhale, come back to the center, take your arms out like a T, and on your exhale, take it to the other side. And notice you don't have to go very far, just start to mobilize the body as you breathe. Inhale through the center, open your arms. Exhale, take it to the left. Inhale through the center. Exhale, take it to the right. Back through center, ground through your sitting bones, reach both arms up, deep breath in. And on your exhalation, interlace your hands and draw your elbows down and in front of you. Again, your elbows don't need to touch, but if they touch, maybe that feels different on your shoulders. So consider what you want. And then start to move your wrists here. You can move them in circles or you can move them in circle eights. Switch directions. And if switching directions is getting your brain, which it absolutely is getting mine right now, that's okay. You try it. And you try it again, and if it doesn't work, maybe you can take yourself a little less seriously. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, release your hands and shake them out. Lean back a little bit. Bring your feet in front of you and give yourself a little bit of a hug. Maybe letting yourself sway from side to side for a moment. Breathe in. And breathe out. Lengthen your spine and start to come onto hands and knees. Stable top. 
If your knees are sensitive, I highly encourage you to bring a blanket underneath your knees. And if you don't have one, something that you can always do is grab your yoga mat and lift it and then kind of double fold it on, it, in, on itself. And then you can put your knees there and that may be better for your knees. Also bring your hands to the ground, spreading your fingers wide right underneath your shoulders or make fists and then keep your wrists out of the way. Start to create movement here. Maybe your hips move side to side. Letting your spine mobilize, letting your neck mobilize. Perhaps you'd rather take circles one way and then the other. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Pause at the center, find stability from the hands through the knees through the core. And on your inhalation, send your right leg behind you. Keep your toes on the ground and press back through your heel, taking a moment to move back and forth. Hover your toes off the floor, engage your core, inhale. Exhale, draw your right knee to your chest, relax your head down toward your knee. Inhale, extend your right leg again. Now move your left foot a little to the left, lower your right toes to the floor and you could stay here or on your inhalation, scoop your right arm straight up overhead or over your right ear, creating a nice straight line from your right hand through the arm, through the side body, all the way down to the right foot. Breathe in. Breathe out, bring your right hand down, right knee to your nose. Now start to bring your right foot between your hands. For some of us, you may wanna grab your ankle with your hand and give it a little tug. And you can frame your foot with your hands or bring your hands to your blocks as you lift your chest up. Feel free to stay here or on your inhalation, sweep your arms straight up. Now as you exhale, sweep your left arm in front of you and down, down, down and circle it down and back. Maybe look back toward your left hand. Inhale, take your left arm forward, follow with your gaze, look up. Exhale, bring both hands down to your blocks or to the floor. Take your right leg back and shift your weight forward to find a knee plank. Breathe in here. Breathe out slowly, lower down to your abdomen, hands underneath your shoulders. Press into your hands, press into the front body. And on your inhalation, slowly peel your chest off the floor. Exhale, slowly lower back down. Two more like that. Inhale, slowly press up, opening the front body, keeping your shoulders down and away from your ears. Exhale, slowly come down. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly lift your chest again into a cobra. Then bring your hips back, walk your hands back and find yourself in your table to up again. Finding stability, reconnecting with your breath, and perhaps also with your intention. How can you include your intention in this moment? Inhale, send your left leg back, keep your toes on the ground, and move back and forth if that serves you. Awakening the leg. And then inhale, hover your left toes off the floor. Exhale, draw your left knee toward your chest, and eventually extend your leg again. Breathe in. Breathe out, lower your toes, and then move your right foot to the right, left heel pivots to the right, and on your inhalation, send your right arm, or your left arm rather, straight up, or overhead. One more breath wherever you are, inhale. Exhale, left hand to the floor, left knee to your nose, left foot between your hands. Take your time to get there, hands on your blocks, or framing your left foot. Stay here if that feels best for your body right now, or perhaps you want a deeper, steady stretch. Or on your inhalation, press down into your left foot and start to lift your arms up. And on your exhalation, take your right arm in front of you and then down, circle it down, down, down and back. Maybe follow with your gaze. Inhale, slowly sweep your right arm back up. Take your gaze forward or up. Exhale, frame your left leg with both hands, left leg meets right, find a knee plank, breathe in, breathe out, lower down to your abdomen, inhale, lift your chest, exhale, this time move your hips back as you bring your big toes to touch, separate your knees as wide as you want to take them, and bring yourself to a child's pose, perhaps your arms remain extended forward, or you can make a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead there, wiggle your hips, move your spine, or find stillness, but most importantly, find your breath again. One 
One more inhale. And exhale. Extend your arms forward if they're not already there. Press yourself up to a tabletop, or if you wanted to, you could tuck your toes and send your hips up and back for downward facing dog. I'll do the first round in tabletop. Please do what works for you. It's just different options, different variations. Inhale, send your right leg behind you, whether you're in tabletop or downward dog. Turn your toes to the right and bend your knee as little as much as you want. And then take one big circle with your right hip one way and then the other. Extend your right leg behind you, point your toes down to the ground, breathe in. Breathe out, draw your right knee to your chest, right foot between your hands. You can lower your left knee to the ground or you can lift it up. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, sweep your left arm forward and down, circle it down, 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 follow with your gaze if you want. Inhale, take both arms up. Exhale, frame your right foot with both hands. Find your way to plank or knee plank. It's up to you if your knees are on the ground or lifted. Inhale. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, or find a slow, controlled chaturanga and float before you find the floor. Inhale, peel your chest off the floor for your back bend. Exhale, take your hips back. Maybe you find a child's pose, a tabletop, or a downward dog to take one cycle of breath here in through your nose. Out through your nose or your mouth. <sighs> On your inhalation from your tabletop or your downward dog, take your left leg up. Turn your toes to the left, bend your knee, open through your hip, and maybe take one big circle one way. And then the other. Extend your left leg up, breathe in. Breathe out left knee to your nose, left foot between your hands. It's up to you if your right knee lowers or if it stays lifted. And on your inhalation, if you'd like, rise up. Take both arms up. Exhale, sweep your right arm all the way down. Circle it, circle it, and maybe follow with your gaze. If you get wobbly, it could be fun. Who knows? <laughs> Inhale, take it forward again. Exhale, frame your left foot with both hands. This time, lift your right knee off the floor if it's down. Inhale. And on your exhalation, take as many steps as you'd like to get to the top of your mat, feet parallel to one another, hands to the floor, to your blocks, to the shins. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, soften your knees and let yourself fold and relax down. Again, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Press down evenly through your feet. And on your next inhalation, let yourself rise as you take your arms all the way out and up. Perhaps you take a little back bend as your palms unite overhead, open up to the front body. And on your exhalation, bring your palms together in front of your heart. Or maybe let them surrender next to your body. It's whatever feels best for you. Maybe you give yourself a moment to sway back and forth. Maybe you give yourself a moment to remain completely still. Again, there's no need for you to concern yourself with what's happened or what will happen. Can you just let yourself be here, acknowledging what truly is, how you truly feel? All the things have brought you right here, right now. Can that be enough? Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands to your hips as you open your eyes if they were closed. Ground into your right foot and start to lift your left heel. You can stay here or maybe your left toes lift off the floor. Inhale. Exhale, soften your standing leg. Step your left foot all the way back and pivot your left heel to the ground so that your hips start to turn to the side. Perhaps you take a moment to readjust your stance until your right knee and ankle are stacked more or less over each other and your shoulders and hips are also stacked over each other. And then on your inhalation, you can open your arms out to the sides parallel to the ground. Take your gaze forward. And on your exhalation, bend into your right knee just a bit more. Inhale, stretch your right leg, take your arms up. Now as you exhale, circle your left arm back and down. Bring it in front of you toward your right hip. And bend your right knee again. Lengthen through your right arm a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale, maybe lean back a bit. Feel the reach of your left arm forward and your right arm back. 
Allow yourself to remain right in the center. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your torso to the center. Bring your arms parallel to the floor. Warrior two. Gaze forward. Inhale. Exhale. Cartwheel your hands to the floor. Square your hips to the front. Take a step forward to the top of your mat. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Fold. Rise up. Stretch up. Deep breath in. Fine length. Exhale, hands to your hips, ground into your left foot. This time, lift your right heel. Notice what your balance is like. Notice the length of your spine and maybe stay or start to float your right toes in front of you. Notice how you feel here. Breathe in. Breathe out, soften your standing leg. Step your left foot back and eventually turn your left heel or your right heel rather. Right foot steps back, right heel turns to the right. And then start to find the stability here in warrior two. Stack your shoulders over your hips and eventually extend your arms, left arm forward, right arm back. Breathe. On your inhalation, extend your front leg, take your arms up. And as you exhale, sweep your right arm in a circle and bring it in front of you toward your left hip. Continue to reach your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee again. Keep the length through the left side body, deep inhalation. And as you exhale, maybe lean back. You can keep your right hand resting on the hip or stretch it forward. Continue to press down through your feet, energize your entire body. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your arms back to the horizon in warrior two. Deep breath in. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, square your hips to the top of the mat as you step your right foot forwards. Inhale, flat back to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise, stretch up, lift your arms. Exhale, fold, take it all the way down, relax your head, hands find the earth. Bend your knees as much as you have to or as much as you want to. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, plant both hands onto the floor, step back to a plank, feel free to lower your knees, breathe in. Breathe out knees, chest and shin, or slow, control, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest for your back bend. Exhale, tabletop or downward dog, your choice. You know the first time around, I'm gonna be on my knees. You do what works for you. Inhale, take your right leg back, turn your toes to the right, bend your knee. Exhale, circle your right knee to your chest, right foot between your hands. Now, if your left knee is on the floor, you may wanna pivot your left foot over to the right. If your left knee is not on the floor, pivot your left heel to the right, yeah? And on your inhalation, cartwheel your arms up finding whatever warrior two variation you'd like. And on your exhalation, maybe bend into your front knee a bit more. Inhale, stretch your arms and maybe your leg a little. Exhale, circle your left arm back and around and in front. And then send your right arm back and your left arm forward as you find a little more extension and bend into your front knee. One more inhale and exhale. Arms to the horizon as you breathe in. Breathe out to cartwheel your hands to the floor, square your hips, take a plank. Feel free to take a vinyasa if you want to, or feel free to bring your big toes to touch, knees wide, and take a child's pose for a few breaths. Consider what serves your intention best. What cultivates a similar energy? One more breath. And eventually find yourself in tabletop, or if you rather, in downward facing dog. Inhale, take your left leg up, turn your toes to the left, bend your knee for a moment. Exhale, circle your knee to your chest, left foot between your hands, take your time to get there. Again, if your right knee is down, pivot your right foot over to the left. If your right knee is off the floor, pivot your right heel down to the floor. On your inhalation, rise up, take your time to cartwheel your arms up and around. And on your exhalation, bend your left knee into warrior two. Inhale, extend your left leg and your arms up as little or as much as you want. And on your exhalation, circle your right arm back, down and in front of your left hip. Breathe in to lengthen. Breathe out to bend your left knee and extend. Inhale. Exhale. Arms to the horizon. Breathe in, warrior two. Breathe out, cartwheel your hands down to the floor. And this time, take your right foot in front next to your left, top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. 
And on your exhalation, start to heel toe your feet wider. Turn your toes out and your heels in and start to let yourself lower down. Maybe you come to Malasana. Maybe you come to Malasana with a block. Maybe you keep your heels off the floor and instead you're here. One's not better than the other. One doesn't do more than the other. It just depends on what you need and what you're looking for. So choose. Wherever you are, let the breath guide you. Let your intention instead of the shoulds and coulds and could haves guide you. How can you make space for what you truly want in small things like a yoga pose or when you say yes or when you say no? One more breath, inhale and exhale. Let yourself find a seat. If you're sitting on a block, of course, move it out of the way. Take a moment to maybe shake your legs or wiggle them or whatever feels good. And then I invite you to slide your left leg underneath. And you can keep your right foot in front of your shin or bring it across the knee. It's whatever feels best for your hips. But notice if your knee draws open, the intention here is to keep them slightly closed. Yeah? Lengthen through your spine as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, hug your right knee with your left arm and take a gentle twist toward the right. One more breath. And then slowly come back through center and cross and switch sides. So this time you cross your left leg over the right, maybe in front of the shin, maybe across the knee. Lengthen to breathe in. And as you breathe out, hug your knee as you take a twist to the left. Breathe as you notice the spiral of energy. Consider where you could soften, even if it's just a tiny bit. And then slowly come back through center and cross your knees. Give yourself a little bit of a hug as you relax your head. And either bring yourself to lie down to close your practice or bring yourself to a seat. It also may depend on your intention, what you choose to do. Take a moment to lengthen your spine and roll your shoulders, move your neck. And then bring yourself to stillness just for the next few moments. Allowing not only the physical practice to integrate, but the energy to notice those new spaces where it can flow into. Your nervous system recognize that you know how to be present, how to take care of yourself, how to return to your center. Take a deep breath in through your nose, filling up front to back, side to side and top to bottom. Hold at the top and side up. Whether you're seated or lying down, start to move your body. Stretch out, yawn, whatever you need. And eventually find yourself in a seat if you're not already there. Letting your hands rest on your lap or your knees, or perhaps once again, bringing one hand to your heart and one hand to your abdomen. Giving yourself a moment to acknowledge any shifts, but also to acknowledge what remains when you remove the layers, when you give yourself the opportunity to be nowhere else but here with whatever shows up.
I invite you to either reinstate your intention or if it serves its course, feel free to let it go. Taking a deep inhalation and letting go. Once you're ready, you can release your hand and you can open your eyes. Thank you, everyone.